Uh, so we are here at the Millbox Cemetery. I'm gonna have to look. Uh, there is another cemetery down further. It's like St. Paul's or something. But I don't know if the Millbox Cemetery is just this little one here. It says it has quite a few stones in it. Um, figured we'd check out this. Uh, it's 1745 for the Millbox Cemetery. But so it's the majority of that. But there is another one. Um, to check out this. In grateful tribute to the men and women who served in the armed forces of our country. It's pretty neat. This is such a pretty. I want to go over and check out the church here. And like I said, there is another cemetery that's connected. It's like right over there. I think that might be essentially the uh, cemetery either for this church or for another one. So I would assume with it being like the Millbop um, cemetery is more a community cemetery than necessarily connected with just one church. I really don't know. Yeah, it's St. Uh, Paul's Lutheran Church. Because we're formed and Lutheran, which is a lot of those cases, they were shared facilities. Uh, built 1790, rebuilt 1890. So it's just really, really pretty church. And I'll get some nice pictures of that as well. Um, we'll go around, we may go around this way, and then... Uh, come around the church because there is a much newer part of the cemetery that I think is specifically for just this church. I love the uh, the scroll work on the wood. If you can see that. It's just really, really pretty. Yeah. I believe that said 1745 is when the, uh, the cemetery. Sort of coming from this on the wrong side. It's pretty there with the cross and sort of the wreath going around the top of it there. Sort of neat how they have the one stone there sort of grown into the tree. Or the trees growing around it. Not quick pause. Uh, so here's a better view of the church. We actually went on the other side because I wanted to take a couple pictures. One of the monuments is this one, which is just absolutely beautiful. I would assume that that's, I guess, Mary at the cross is to the Zimmerman family. I always just you find these places, like I said, they're so surreal. And this is, uh, in a lot of cases, the last tribute to these individuals and their legacy on this earth from their families. We're going to head over to the uh, Revolutionary War section of the cemetery because this is all, I mean, I think it's all one cemetery. It's known overall as the Millbox Cemetery. But they do have on the uh, gate up there, they have the St. Paul's, which is this church, the Reformed and Lutheran Church. Yeah. You can even hear, hear the birds in the background. 
almost weirdly has sort of a feel of like a spring day. some more the whole family here here's one of these older I always love it's like the, the writing on that is just the skill to be able to do that is just impressive to me like I don't have an artsy like my writing but like actual art I'm pretty pretty atrocious John George Moore I think a number of these people here, this is probably Revolutionary War. Yeah, those are all Revolutionary War badges. There's that Johannes. And uh, Johannes is actually John, the uh, version of uh, John and Sherman. Cassie stone. It's cool how like that part of the stone is so clean and then I don't know somebody did partial cleaning on that. It's just interesting. There's a pretty substantial monument. That's to the Zimmerman. It's probably probably Moors and the Zimmermans or some of the uh, prominent families for this church because you'll see that like a uh, um, Beanoggle Lutheran Church, the primary, like the big family there is uh, uh, the Earlies who have their connection to uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. So Sarah Zeller is another one of the Zellers. A lot of Zellers in this region. That's the, the history of their family going back to uh, the pioneering days. Probably another one of Cliff's uh, ancestors. I like how they do this, where they reset the stones and these the concrete. That seems to, when you see that, it seems to preserve them a little bit better. That you know, because when you have the ground uh, freezing and unfreezing, sort of the way it moves with the stones, it makes the stones more brittle. And a lot of these stones. The older stones, like the newer stones that are granite, pretty much last forever. Uh, some of the older rocks that they used as stones would have that habit if they're thinner, like these, especially like these. You know, I talked about a number of times the ones that have sort of had that crown across the top have a habit of snapping and breaking just over time, which is always sad to see that. But it, this is, I'll tell you, this is actually this cemetery, man. They really. You don't see, you see a couple of them here and there, which you consider that these stones like this one here, how old they are. It's amazing that they've lasted. So this is cool, here's some more Zellers. This is a John P. Zeller. Maddie Miller, the wife of George uh, Zeller. And this is George Zeller here. Yeah, these stones are just impressive. Hey, some Millers. There's that Maddie Miller back there, and that's one of them that's written in German. Once again, a number of Revolutionary War vets. I just, I don't know, I always just found... A lot of it's the history, but... Here's one of those stones, it's more like the red stones. And then it has some of, some of that folklore, like German folklore symbology that's on there course written in German. Uh-oh. John Miller. <laughs> but he's with an H, so he has the silent H, so. They have a, a John Miller that was over at, uh, oh, that, I wonder if that's, because the Beckers were right near here, the George Becker. 
you would think that she'd be buried in the Becker plot, but you never know. I mean, it's, I mean that's probably another common name for back then, but still, it's it's interesting. You sort of wonder is, huh? And it was most likely all throughout here was probably people were buried. It's just unfortunately over time the stones. Uh, broke down or maybe there isn't anybody buried there but chances are with having the stone sort of sparsely in here that there is there are people buried there because there's stuff all around just not there in the center I mean normally too you could say okay maybe they had some kind of building was in the midst there but because the church building is so old that it's actually 1790 uh, the chances are that there wasn't another structure there. It's just missing tombstones, which happens over that amount of time. And there are ones that has the wreath there. We'll go down to these ones and then go back up through. And now he's a Revolutionary War vet. marker here memory of Jacob Webb Wegley sort of wonder if they uh, yeah look back at the name um, but I, that I believe it's the Wegley mansion there in Schaeferstown that we went by when we did the uh, country roads take me home so I sort of wonder if at the very least related Seems like that'd be a little early for, because uh, I think he built the house in like 1880s, because it's Victorian. So these seem a little bit early for actually being them. This is pretty neat, a little different looking of stone. It's not like marble or one of those types of stones, an actual stone, like limestone almost, I would think. I might be wrong about that, it just changed color a little differently than the other ones, but I always found these ones interesting where they were sort of laying flat. You can actually see the writing on this. Isaac Myers is like that. I have a couple over. I want to do that Frieden's uh, cemetery at some point. And they have a number of them there that are like that. Yeah, there's like a Michael probably like I don't know if it's Weaver but it's the German spelling is a little different because you'll see these names change over time this is that's got to be a child um, you would think because they have like looks almost like I would assume to me doves it's sacred it's probably a child so yeah get one more view of the church and then uh, we'll end this video but this is a uh, Millbox cemetery also uh, st. Paul's reformed and Lutheran uh, church cemetery 1745
here in the uh, small town of Milbach. Really pretty little town, a lot of history. All right, thanks everybody.